With removable appliances, we often attempt to accomplish more than one tooth movement by utilizing the same appliance. In this example, we are trying to gather the centrals together, move them mesially, and then retract all four anteriors once that movement has been done. If the acrylic rests against the teeth at all while trying to accomplish lingual retraction, you will experience either no movement or you'll create an unwanted torquing of the crown lingually with the root surface moving out labially, which could cause periodontal disease. So to accomplish both movements, we need to adjust the lingual acrylic to allow the teeth to be moved mesially without overly rotating. Once that movement is accomplished, in order to retract the anteriors, we would need to grind away the acrylic from the lingual aspect of these teeth. Although we are not showing the same appliance or the same case, this clearly demonstrates how much of the acrylic should be removed when we want to retract the anteriors. It needs to be moved away from the lingual aspect, and that, of course, is simply done using an acrylic burr and just trimming away the acrylic following the white line that we see here. Notice that it is completely kept away from the teeth.